More than a dozen workers who complain about a lack of protective equipment at Planned Parenthood are now out of a job. Management confirming they made the staff cuts, but they say it's a business decision that they had to make because of COVID-19. KXAN's Alex Capriello spoke to one of the workers who says she feels blindsided by the decision. For nearly two years, Ella Nani has worked for Planned Parenthood. She, like many others, is passionate about her work. She was distraught to learn that she and around 20 others in Austin were let go on Thursday. Our suspicion is that it was motivated by our organizing activity. For the past year, Nani says she's been trying to unionize with some of her colleagues. She claims management wasn't listening to their concerns, and the problems only became worse during the coronavirus outbreak. This big disconnect between the people that were managing us and the work that was being done on the ground. She says there's not enough PPE. They're being forced to do non-essential work, and they're not being offered paid sick leave if they come down with COVID-19 symptoms. They published a letter sent to the CEO on Monday with these exact complaints. Our aim is, is just to hold Planned Parenthood accountable for the way that we were treated. The CEO said the outbreak has hurt them financially and they were forced to make staff and pay cuts. A spokesperson said the layoffs aren't because the employees vocalize complaints. She said other Planned Parenthood workers were laid off too in Dallas, Fort Worth, Plano and Denton. She said there's adequate PPE to go around and that all procedures that are being done in person are time sensitive and thus essential. While Nani realizes she may not get her job back, she's hoping the workers that do return are treated with more respect. That an organization that's motto is care no matter what and has a progressive image uh, really wasn't taking care of its workers. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. The CEO of Planned Parenthood of Greater Texas said his staff is at the heart of what they do and they are working to ensure they feel safe, protected and secure. Right now, most abortions in Texas have stopped. A federal appeals court just sided with the state again, allowing them to block abortions because of the pandemic. But there is a new exception. Women may terminate their pregnancies if they would pass the 20 week limit in Texas because of the new ban in place. Last month, Governor Greg Abbott banned all non-essential medical procedures and the Attorney General banned abortions except those critical to the life and health of the patient. Abortion providers say this order makes abortions largely inaccessible. They say they'll weigh every legal option, including seeking emergency relief from the U.S. Supreme Court.